welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and this is very exciting as this kicks off the first video for fall winter 2023-2024 fashion trends. In this series I just talk about what's on the runways, what's happening in the fashion industry and break everything up into small little bite-sized pieces where you can actually understand what to look out for when you're shopping or like what to wear out of your closet as well. Today we're going to be talking about the colors that were present on most of the shows, whether it's the London Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, you name it. And I'm also not only going to be talking about just which colors were trendy, I'm also going to be talking about if you wear a particular color, what that tells about you or maybe what other people read from you wearing that color. It's something a little bit new, so let me know how you like it. Maybe you just want my jibber jabber talking about how I love the colors or not, but I think this is a little bit more interesting too. Let's start with the cooler side of the color wheel. Color wheel. Here we go, this is it. We have a cooler side where we have like greens, blues, purples, and we have a warmer side. We have the reds, orange, and yellows. And I'm also gonna be talking about a little bit of the seasons as I just started learning about it, like different seasons how the colors work best with a certain season so that's a little bit more deeper when it comes to like warmer cooler tones if you have no idea if you're a warmer cool tone then check out my video it's pretty old so yeah bear with me <laughs> and if you would like me to do another one of these maybe talking about the seasons this time let me know as well all right let's get started with the green from pantone fashion week swatches we have sharp green a pungenty keen yellow green expressed as expensive and exuberant it is very closely followed by kalarbi a tasty green that adds a dash of piquancy a pleasant sharp and appetizing flavor if you didn't know what piquancy means like i didn't know green has positive associations that includes freshness relaxation comfort recognition care sociability money finance nature charisma trustworthiness creativity balance healing and generosity its negative associations, though, include mystery, envy, rigidity, and stagnation. Green is a color that is easy on the eyes and on the mind, so if you find yourself wearing green regularly, there is a chance that you want to be well-liked and recognized. Green is said to produce the least amount of eye strain when exposed uh, to it for long periods, and researchers has found that seeing green keeps people in good mood overall. It was also found that green can stimulate creativity when researchers exposed participants in study to the color green before they began working on a creative task. The researchers found that the creativity of participants increased. Green is the color of growth, kindness, loyalty, compassion. Green tells the world that you are dependable, generous, self-reliant, and calm. This color was also very big in previous seasons, so keep on wearing it for sure. Green is also commonly associated with nature, so it can have grounding and calming effect that way as well. So the color that we see here is definitely more of a yellowish one, having kind of like really bright, maybe like super fresh leaflets or maybe grass, and it is once again very bright so maybe not as calming as it might suggest if it was a plain green color but we do see other shades of it as well on the runways like the olive green a naturally nourishing golden green is essential to well-being it is way muter and will work well with people having warmer undertones. In one of the articles I have read, it was uh, stated that the green is also associated with military and wearing olive drab in particular 
can give you the impression of being a rule follower or especially rigid in personality. When it comes to combinations, green pairs well with yellow, brown, and gray. For more bright combinations, you can pair it with red as it is a complementary color or have a triad combination of green, orange, and violet. I will be showing all of the color combinations in the next video though. This is just the colors that are popular. <laughs> Let us get into the more neutral green, which is a forest night. It is a stoward green that provides a protective cover, a rich, dark, warm green, still very much utilitarian color. It was presented in many runways, as shown both in elegant as well as in street style sporty variations. As I mentioned, I have died into the color matching by season and although green is considered to be a cool color, uh, all of the greens I have covered so far look good on skins with warm undertones. That means that they look good on spring and autumn. Some of the brands that had those green deep colors were Miu Miu, JW Anderson, GCDS, D squared, as well as Christopher Kane, Ultra Zara with a beautiful gradient, Acne Studios, Prada, Bottega Veneta. We see these dark hues going colder, having more blue in them, which means it's more suitable for the cooler undertones, aka winter and summer. Ellie Saab, Lanvin. Michael Kors, Ralph Simons, Dior, as well as Caperni, Carolina Herrera. This brings us to Carnival Glass. A mentholated green with an icy appearance, it cools and refreshes. It is very solely turquoise. It is a color of communication, clarity, idealism it tells the world you are creative and clear-headed and self-sufficient it looks great with orange gray brown and green this color is more suitable to cooler tones regarding the season of oh, this color is in three seasons winter spring and summer and when i talk about seasons i mean what color looks good on you and you being one of the seasons. Okay, now that we got that clear, let's move to the next one. Blue Atoll. A waterborne blue, which invites thoughts of tropical escape. This color fits very much into the Barbie core movement and was used in combinations with a lot of pink and greens, but I didn't find a lot of it on the runways, but I'm sure we'll get to see it more. What I did see was more of a dusty blue tone, which is coming up next. Lace Cap Hydrangea is the floral blue imbued with the fresh essence of seasonal bloom. For my eye, it has just a dash of violet in there. It sometimes was very close to the cool gray, uh, somewhat of a light denim wash. This color was favored in dresses and classier leisure outwear looks great with orange, mustard, navy blue, light pink, and lavender. Some of the shows that did have this color were Givenchy, Fendi, JNW, Viveta, Maison Margiela, having it in a few accessories, Ferragama, having it in more of a casual leisure looks, off-white, Etro, Ellie, Sab, D squared in some gender bending outfits, Dress Van Noten, Dion Lee, Diesel, Christopher Kane, and many more. I feel like this is a very safe, kind of almost a neutral color that goes into those grays that we'll be covering a little bit later in the video. But for now, let's get more into the true blue. Although this was not one of the swatches that Pantone mentioned, i would seen more of it than some other colors, so I decided to include it here. Blue is the color of trust, perseverance, caring, 
integrity, responsibility, and authority, Blue tells the world you are idealistic, orderly, and a peacekeeper. Some more positive associations include friendliness, loyalty, positivity, confidence, calm, honesty, trustworthiness, intelligence, efficiency, success, control, kindness, sympathy, independence, truth, and wisdom. There are comparatively few negative associations here, but those most commonly reported are shyness and coldness. Overall, blue is a soothing color that will make those around you feel more comfortable. Research from University of British Columbia, that's where I live, along other institutions has also found that the darker hues, like navy blue, can increase the production of calming hormones like oxytocin in the brain and that people feel safer exploring their ideas when they're surrounded by blue. So this, the darker hue, takes us to Eclipse. A shadowed blue displays an air of credible importance, an almost black blue. It is a staple of classical office wear. Blue can often give its wear a sense of being in control, so it's especially good choice for job interviews or other corporate events. Closer to indigo, the color of selflessness, structure, and sincerity, indigo tells the world you're highly intuitive, creative, visionary. Blue pairs well with brown, pink, red and orange but it can be considered neutral and can pair with many other colors if you feel that black just is too black <laughs> maybe this is the color for you and we see it used in off-white in dress van noten more like in dresses we also see kind of a darker wash denim in dior christopher kane having a suit with that dark color, Alexander McQueen once again with a dark wash denim. Acme Studios with a really dark blue trench. Alta Zara also having a dress and an outerwear coat. And Balenciaga spicing up their black with a little bit of dark blue. Going more into the cooler hues, uh, transitioning into the violets with Persian Jewel. A noble blue hue inspired by the precious lapis lazuli mineral stone. For me, this color is close to lavender, very feminine, that looks great on cooler undertones like the winter and summer seasons. This color looks great with green, yellow, mint, plum, and khaki. And we do see a lot of this on the runways whether it's a very delicate dress or maybe more of a leisure sporty side as well as well going to like a gray area but having that little pop of violet in there we have this color represented in many shows such as coach carolina herrera jnw gucci with the fake fur and that with yellow odd combination jill sander in more of the casual and oversized suit mason margella with a transparent cutout skirt loeve and many more continuing with the violets we're having a sparkly grape purple tasteful sparkling grape has big willing appeal purple is also the color of compassion, wealth, luxury, and spirituality. Purple tells the world you are regal, set apart, and you demand respect. Purple is also called violet, and its positive associations include leadership, sophistication, wealth, luxury, creativity, charm, insight, confidence, imaginations, sentimentality. <laughs> and spirituality. Its negative association, meanwhile, include intimidation, unpredictability, sensitivity, shyness, and introversion. I don't know, is introversion a negative trait? Pfft. Who wrote this? <laughs> One of my friends also noted that the purple sucks all of your sexual energy. 
but that was the only source I have found this information from, so don't come for me. Rules through history were purple in their robes, so you can tap into some of their regal power by putting purple in your outfits. Purple projects confidence in its wear, but on the flip side, others may also find purple a bit intimidating subconsciously. When pairing for purple, grayscale, as well as brown, red, and blues hues you can consider. Rose Violet, a tantalizing fuchsia, rose violet radiates high energy. A cooler red color that would look great on skin with cooler undertones and fits on the winter and summer seasons. This is the closest color to color of the year of 2023, uh, as stated by Pantone. Fuchsia pink was paired on the run with, with red, lime green, or brown, but we will visit that in the next video about the color combinations. We didn't have a lot of it on the runways, but you know, it's the Barbie season, so get ready for it. This bright pink color was included with some major bright colors such as red and gucci maybe it was like a monochrome outfit sometimes it was paired with like a bright orange bag like in fendi and just on its own like in givenchy and versace all right let's get into some more softer pink shades conch shell a distinctive pink whose engaging demeanor belies its substance in general, light pink has positive associations including uh, sincerity, love, romance, optimism, sophistication, comfort, affection, nurturing, kindness, and calm. Negative associations of pink include vulnerability and weakness, but only in the kind of lighter tints. The color of unconditional love, understanding, empathy, pink tells the world you're intuitive, innocent, and hopeful. To get the most obvious point out there, pink isn't just for girls, guys. It can of course be worn by anyone. Up until the mid 20th century, pink was common color for young boys. It used to be associated with Mars, the Roman god of war, since it's very close to red and the color of blood, of course. The color pink may also have powerful effects on mood and emotional health. It was found sometime in the 80s that prison inmates who stared at the walls and ceilings painted in pink reported a decreased level of aggression overall. Pink is generally a well-liked color by society and as such, it's often used in marketing. You can think of breast cancer awareness or the millennial pink wave of 2017 as an example and right now the infamous barbie movie pink pairs well with red yellow green blue gray and teal which of course is the combination of green and blue this brings us to the mother of pink red on the runways, we have fiery red, a sexy and sensual color that creates excitement. Red is the color of ambition, uh, determination, assertiveness, confidence, and power. Red tells the world you're courageous, driven, and you take action. Positive associations with the color red include passion, love, romance, arousal, mm -hmm, boldness, energy, willpower, confidence, persuasion, excitement, stimulation, leadership, and strength. Meanwhile, negative associations include danger, aggression, and riskiness. Overall, red is a color that's highly charged with emotions and boldness in the name of the game. With this in mind, try not to overdo how much red you're incorporating into outfit if you want to feel safe to other people or like not look too flashy. If 
you are wearing a lot of red, chances are that you are energetic, strong-willed and outspoken. You like to live life to the fullest and take risks more than other people might. You're also likely to be easily excited and perhaps slightly self-centered. Conversely, if you're hoping to get noticed more often, consider incorporating more red into your outfits as the science of the optics tells that the red is often the first color to be noticed by human eye. Stop signs are red for a reason after all. Multiple studies of color red have shown that it can have various effects on behavior, including that it can raise heart rate, affect your attention span, and people who are wearing it seem more attractive. And only it is seen in all of the color seasons, but it can still have cooler and warmer undertones. If you have like a little bit more orangey one, it will be better for warmer tones. If you have a little bit more like violet in there, then it will be great for cooler tones. But anyways, red was pretty much everywhere. We have it in Alexander McQueen, a very natural color for them, as well as in blue marine of being more vibrant, more like Y2K, and as well as in Dolce Gabbana. Like in the New York Fashion Week, there were three shades of deeper, richer red, and there will be more from the other one as well. But let's just get started. We have the a deep, richer red first on and a cooler side. Viva Magenta, a powerful and empowering Viva Magenta is animated red, encouraging experimentation and self-expression. From the swatch, I see no magenta, but I just might be colorblind. If it is magenta based, then it would go more with the cooler tones, but since it is so close to brown too, it might be great with autumn but also winter, coolness of it. Let us move right uh, into yet another color that is close in nature, but this time is 100% warm color. We have Red Dahlia. Imposing Red Dahlia is elegance personified. It is still so, so close to London Fashion Week's favorite, the Fired Brick, which is basically a rich brown color of quite strength, confidence, honesty, reliability. Brown tells the world you're loyal, trustworthy, warm, and likable. So that fire brick, <laughs> magnanimous or generous or forgiving, especially towards a rival. I am becoming an English vocabulary channel with this one, hey? <laughs> Anyways, reddish brown with finesse and save our fare. Brown, due to the light of the different events, uh, it was hard for me to tell this color apart from the next one and the next one and the next one, let's be honest. So in general, brown is uh, often associated with commitment, reliability, stability, rigidness, nature, intelligence, and respect. Meanwhile, the negative associations include blandness and conformity. Brown is the color of earth, and similarly to green, it is also well represented in nature. And as such, it is seen as another grounding and centering color. Whereas of the brown are seen to be dependable, smart, and rational. They are less likely to rush into things, preferring to consider their opinions sen sensibly, whereas of brown are more likely to take conscious approach to things, respect their elders, seek out places and stability, as well as provide it to others. Since brown is another neutral hue and it doesn't communicate any strong or heightened emotion, it has also been shown uh, to provide more effective communication between parties. Brown can be a bit bland in some circumstances, uh, so adding a pop of color here or there may also be a good idea. In general, there isn't a color that brown doesn't pair well with, including all of the colors we've discussed today. Conversely to black, I find brown to be vastly underrated. Why does brown work with everything? Basically because if you mix the complementary colors together, you will always get brown. So brown works 
with everything, you guys. We also have burnt sienna, sturdy and steady burnt sienna that conveys a sophisticated earthiness. Out of all the brown reds, this one is the closest to orange. And here we can see all of these similar shades walking side by side with very minimal changes. Heading yet into another brown, the darkest one of all, the hot fudge, as seen on the New York Fashion Week. Deliciously delicate hot fudge tempts the taste buds. Yet another almost black color, just like the Eclipse. This time it is for the warmer undertones. Just like the name implies, it is very rich, chocolatey, almost like 99% cacao black chocolate bar. I don't know about you, but I really prefer to have milk chocolate. <laughs> but I digress. This season's color palette was very 70s inspired, with this deep rich brown being at the top of the game and paired with many orange shades as well as some nudes and just like very 70s, yes. We see this really dark brown and going more into like a warmer brown as well, like in Roberta Cavalli, Hermes, we have a lot of it in off-white. Uh, we also have some in Dior, Dion Lee, Coach. Lots of leathers, lots of, um, I don't know if it's faux or real furs. We have it in J.W. Anderson, Acne Studios, Diesel, Balma, Coach. I'm basically just sta almost stating all of the brands here. Loewe, Max Mara. Max Mara for sure had a thing for brown <laughs> this season. Maybe like a quarter of their outfits were in brown. Miu Miu had a few outfits. We have it in Prada as well and a few blazers. If you're enjoying this content so far and would like to support my page, all you need to do is a like this video, maybe leave me a nice little comment down below. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. And if you know somebody who likes fashion, maybe share it with them too. That would be amazing. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, there are multiple shades of brown as well. And we have more to come when it comes to the lighter colors like tans and beiges but that will be a little bit farther in the video but for now let's get into the center of the warm colors on the color wheel and that's the orange red orange is a heated gregarious orange tone both spontaneous and self-assured if you were just like me and didn't know what gregarious meant it is a person who is fond of company and is sociable Orange is the color of adventure, creativity, and forward thinking. Orange tells the world you're enthusiastic, risk taker, informal, and extroverted. The positive association of the orange include creativity, as I mentioned, ambition, energy, sociability, friendliness, warmth, positivity, outgoing, youth, learning, abundance, and optimism. Negative associations include immaturity, divided attention, and tackiness. Hmm, I don't know. Orange is something of a, a hit or miss color overall, uh, as wearing it can show that you're creative and ambitious, but if you're wearing too much, you've got the potential to look like an escape convict or a traffic cone. Similar to red, wearing more muted shades, whether those are pastel tones or dark shades, can soften these effects. And this is how we mostly see it on the runways, apart from when it is used as an accessory or like a pop of color, everything else is a little bit muted. Orange draws in others for conversation, 
it is the color that is good for extroverts and those who generally like to talk orange is also going to get you noticed though not quite as readily as red will keep in mind though that despite the positive connotations bold orange can put some people off uh, as studies have shown that orange is many people's least favorite color especially among women interesting what do you guys think if you're a woman comment down below is orange something that you really dislike uh, orange pairs well with blue black gray brown and green so in other words it's great accent color against the staples next one up is peachy parsimon a honey coral with a delicate sweetness this is the closest color that is said to be the color of 2024 by pentone so we might see a lot of it coming up for the next spring and summer a great transition color between the seasons as well both the orange and the persimmon look best on warm skin tones and are part of the autumn and spring color palettes there were some bright color pairings with this one, including complementary and triad pairings, but we will pay a closer look to them in the next video, as I mentioned. Mustard. Spectra yellow. An illuminating yellow speak to innovation enlightenment and energy yellow is the color of originality intellect happiness and fun yellow tells the world you're wise confident and optimistic and it is very closely followed by the high visibility color that exudes the warmth and the splendor of the sun high visibility expresses joy and good cheer Yellow's positive associations include happiness, courage, sunshine, activity, creativity, excitement, alertness, and overall casual quality. Meanwhile, negative associations include immaturity, addiction, and fear. In general, wearing yellow will contribute to a happy, fun, and positive mood overall. It is the color of sunshine, and accordingly, it has potential to lift everyone up. Studies have shown that this mood lifting is partly contributed to increased production of serotonin in the brain when observing the yellow color. And it also has a potential to raise people's metabolism. Yellow also improves concentration, which is why you see it on billboards, street signs, illegal pads, and highlighters. Similar to red and orange, the other warm colors, yellow is also best used in moderation and in lighter or darker shades. Yellow is also a color that can communicate fear. So if you're naturally timid or shy, you may want to avoid it or wear it only in small doses. And it is paired well with the gray, green, and brown in particular. Next one up is light gray with nimbus cloud. A wispy lethal gray and a silver birch. An internal naturally gray silver birch stands the test of time. Gray basically is gray <laughs> gray is an achromatic color that stands uh, from balance neutrality and sophistication gray makes you feel professional and all together and gray can be worn in many seasons positive associations here include balance neutrality sophistication tranquility maturity and composure meanwhile negative associations include blandness conformity coldness sterility and apathy another staple neutral shade gray is a classic that will have you look organized and reliable if you find that your closet is full of gray break up those outfits by incorporating other colors to spice things up wearers of light grays are more nonchalant Gray, the color of elegance, stability, dependability. Gray tells the world you're solid, classic, and stable. These light grays were a popular choice of the designers in their creations, as well as in the venues they chose to host their show. 
the light gray is great alternative to a white for people with cooler undertones which is a winter and a summer color scheme and it would look natural to be worn throughout the year no matter the season. While those who wear a lot of gray generally prefer not to draw too much attention to themselves, wearing an excess of gray can actually suppress your mood in addition to washing you out visually. But it was very popular. So when it comes to gray, we have it in off-white, quite a lot in Dion Lee. We also have some very nice knit in Bottega Veneta. Alexander McQueen had a few suits in gray. We also have it in Alta Zara, Balenciaga. We also have in Blue Marine. We also have gray in Caperni. Gray was pretty much almost everywhere. We also have a lot of it in Diesel. We also see it in Dior in some prints. Fendi, Ferragama, GCDS paired with maybe sometimes a pop of color. We also have it in Gucci. Once again, it just on its own or with a pop of orange. We also have it in Louis Vuitton and Saint Laurent. Moving on to lava smoke, impenetrable deep gray imbued with gravitas. If once again, you just, just like me, you don't know what gravitas means. It stands for dignity, seriousness, or serious manner. Okay, darker uh, charcoal grays can make a more powerful assertive statement. We see a lot of classic suits colors on the runways. Does this mean that everyone is going back to office work uh, or like what? A lot of formal designs have walked the runway. Gray pairs well with pink, black, white, red, and blue. It can also go well with brown. Once again, stay tuned for the next video. We pretty much have just as many in the darker gray as we had in the lighter gray. And we have them in like dresses and outerwear. We're seeing this in Perenza schooler, Prada, outerwear, maybe like some sweaters and blazers. Moschino had a few gray outfits. We also have them in Miu Miu, Max Mara. We also have that in Mason Margiela, Loewe, Lanwin, Jill Sanders. In Gucci, kind of a little bit of a colder one. We also see it in Givenchy, Vergamo, Fendi, a lot at Fendi actually, and Dress Van Noten. We also have it in plenty more shows. But there was so, so much of the office wear that it, gray seemed very natural to be on the runways. There's also a lot of outwear in gray as well. Let's round out the gray scale with black. Those positive association included a sophistication, strength, power, authority, formality, elegance, luxury, intelligence, and efficiency. Black also have number of negative associations as well, including coldness, harshness, depression, aggression, mystery, depth, and mourning. Although black was not part of the Pantone swatches, and let us face it, it is classic and we do see a majority of it on the runways. Black stands for sophistication, elegance, and power, as I mentioned. Black is classy and elegant and many love it because it makes you appear slimmer. Wearing black can make you feel more confident, powerful, and professional. Black is perfect for minimalistic outfits as well. Black is a go-to for many people, of course, but it does have a potential to be overpowering and it can wash out many skin tones. Adding more pops of color can 
soften the look overall. People who wear a lot of black clothes are generally ambitious and purposeful, but they can also be sensitive, reinforcing the negative association between black and aggression. Researchers at the University of Florida found that hockey players wearing a black jersey were more likely to be penalized for aggressive physical contact than players wearing a white jersey. Black pairs well with the grayscale combination like gray and white as well as red. It is also great for formal occasions. Just think of black tie and white tie dress codes, for example. Pure white and pure black tend to look best in like cool, cool tones, but are still considered neutral colors or shades, I might say. Now that we have covered all the cool tones, let's head into the warmer neutral colors, starting with coconut milk. A milky white with a hint of mild flavor, it is warmer off-white, perfect for people with warmer undertones. White as a color is peaceful, sophisticated, clean and fresh. It symbolizes new beginnings. Wear white to appear calm and out together. The positive association here include confidence, uh, balance, uh, innocence, purity, simplicity, optimism, positively, courage, of reliability and freedom. The negative association with white includes perfectionism and sterility. Is perfectionism a bad thing? I don't know. Given that white is commonly associated with things like freedom, purity, simplicity, this why many people often buy things in white, especially when turning over a new chapter in their lives. White is a neutral color or really the absence of color. And thus it can be worn by many different personality types as it is in essence blank canvas. In addition to helping you appear clean and innocent, white can also give the impression that you're well organized and in control of things. Too much white can have a potential to wash you out. I'd suggest pairing it with other colors in your in your closet. This warm of white we seen in Ferragama, Fendi shows. We have it in Maison Margiela, Off-White, Diesel, Bottega Veneta, Balma, Alta Zara, and it's a pretty neutral color, so it was pretty much present everywhere. This coconut milk starts our gradient of beige, nudes, and tans. So if you're warmer color tone skin, is that even English? Then this is the color for you and pay attention, pay attention. Following is the Seed Pearl, a lightly shaded fresh off-white, the color of light trench coats or sand on the beach, basically. Beige itself stands for simplicity, warmth and wisdom. Beige is elegant, classy and very old money. It is great foundation for many outfits and it can be paired with almost any color. Beige can make you feel relaxed and grounded. It is safe and warm. As you see the abundance of it on the runways, you know it is safe bet to get as long as it suits you. Just like the grays work well with the cooler tones, beige is great for people with warmer complexion. The color can also work well in any season and it is definitely associated with minimalistic aesthetics and introvertedness. We see this color being presented in Max Mara, Dolce Gabbana, in Bottega Veneta, Acme Studios, a lot of dresses. Uh, we also have Dion Lee, as well as Lo Eve in some coats and dresses. All right, next one up, very not far away from the previous one, is the Pale Khaki, a contemporary versatile tan taken from tradition. Yet another transition color, I feel the darker we go, the more like fall winter the colors feel. Also with all of these shades of nude, be careful not to choose something that is too close to your skin, especially in like tight leggings format, or you will have some outraged glances flying your way. 
we see this color presented in Bottega Veneta. We also see it in Dion Lee as well as Diesel. Rock had a few of outfits with this. Maybe it's in a deconstructed trench coat or some kind of a deconstructed suit ensemble. Another one is the Tender Peach. It is gentle and inviting and has a soft and easy touch. A lot of knits were featured in this, having very cozy feel. We see this color in Diesel, Coach, Acne Studios, Bottega, Veneta, and quite a few trenches. So basically, these are the trench colors, so they can go in either one of these. Lots of outerwear coats, of course, and lots of flowy dresses as well. Finally, we have the dough. A twangy and tactile brown dough elicits a soft warmth. It was mainly used in the outerwear garments like coats and blazers, maybe like a few suits, skirt suits, you name it. And as you can see in the video, there was a lot of it on the runways. And once again, more of a warmer tone, so it would be great for people with a warmer undertone skin. The darkest shade of these were seen in Stella McCartney, Bottega Veneta, Dress Van Noten, Christopher Kane, GCDS once again with some color pops. We have Todd's uh, as well as Prada. We also see it in Miu Miu. Honestly, it is so hard to tell which designers used which one because of all of the different light sources on the runway. So without actually having the garments in person and checking them next to the swatches, most of these is basically guesswork on my part. But here they are side by side with a little gradient there of tones. All right, you guys, this is it these are the colors and in the next video i'm going to be talking about how they were paired in the runway shows themselves so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching to the end i hope you enjoyed this video i worked really hard on it i have started timing how long it takes to make my videos i am very scared of finding out the number if you enjoyed this video, please consider to like it and maybe comment on it. And if you're not already subscribed, then what are you waiting for? <laughs> this is basically my content. I do a lot of these kind of videos just talking about fashion, maybe talking about style from time to time, but that is it. If you'd like to see more of how I dress in my everyday life, I encourage you to check out my Instagram account. And yes, that is pretty much it. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and yes, stay classy. Bye.